Hey guys, before we get to this week's episode, just wanted to say thank you to some of our new supporters. We got Eric, Alex's little brother. Thank you so much for your comment. Uh, we also got Katie. She threw a punishment down there. We didn't choose it, but it, it still counts. Uh, we also got Allison giving us some suggestions and also Santina. I know you love us, so thank you so much for that comment. And uh, let's get ready for this episode. Oh, hey, Alex, you ready? Yeah. Let's go. Let's do this. Films. Kev? Kev, are you okay? What are you doing? Is he meditating again? You're right. I, I think he is. Um, oh, man. This weekend probably, probably really got to him. Well, what happened this weekend? Dude. May the 4th? Episode 4 of Game of Thrones? Come on, man. That's a lot of 4s. You probably watch Endgame for the 4th time. Uh, at least he's not doing the Doctor Strange thing. Dude. He's doing it, isn't he? Ugh. Nope. Just gas. Well, while Kevin is doing whatever he's trying to finish doing, well, we'll hear from our... It's a trap! I'm sorry, everybody. Looks like we're having some uh, technical difficulties. And uh, we still don't have a sponsor yet, but if you or anyone you know is interested in uh, being our sponsor... Um, please let us know. Yeah, we we mean business. What shall we talk about now? Hey, man. You're back. I was never gone. I was merely astrally projected. You did what with your ass? Yeah, he sounds like Bran. Who? Just... Roll it. Welcome back, everybody! If you're there, and Kevin's back here again. Prepared. And I'm here in the middle. That can mean one thing. We're back for episode eight of... Bottle Tap. Tap. Here Tap. on YouTube, your new favorite channel. Thank you so much for helping us reach 100 subscribers. We reached Guys, we thank you. So much. Yeah, we reached 100. We, reached 100. We, we passed 100, actually. We were like at 106 last thank time you, we saw. Everyone. So, so thank you so much for following us make sure you follow our instagram at bottle underscore tap kev where can people find you at kevin underscore abasco <laughs> my, my name is alex you can find me at l3x with three underscores and my name is justin you can find me at justin pot with three s's no yeah. underscores the only one without an underscore just, just letters, no underscores. So, and then we have um, a helper helping us out today, uh, Mr. Koye Oladapo. You can find him at Adekoye underscore Oladapo. He has an underscore because he's cool. Uh, you want to be part of the cool kids. It's too late to change my Instagram name. Well, it's too late to apologize to. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, today we're going to be trying. Um, a beer that Mr. John Goodrich recommended on our Instagram. One of my personal favorites. What are we doing today? It's the Space Dust. Pew. Ooh. Yeah. And then we also have um, a snack that we're going to be reviewing because he also recommended us review a, um, for us to review a snack. So we're going to be adding that in as well. Pairs well. <laughs> I'm hoping it pairs well. I honestly just sure. grabbed it at Total Wine and I was like, this looks like it might be good with it. I think so. Just like a foreshadow, I guess. It's like well, the beer is this, and then this is the snack is opposite, and then the opposites attract, and then boom, you have a trifecta of all goodness. Did you just use the law of attraction to for <laughs> yeah. the beer? Uh, it's called thing. the law of Kev attraction. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, as always, um, we're gonna get started off with some beer four one one. You weren't here last week. Do you want you want to take care of this beer four one one? I'd love to. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, get started with some beer 411. What's up, everybody? On today's episode, we're doing a little something different. We have a beer and a snacker pairing them together. Today's episode, we have Elysian Space Dust, located and brewed in the beautiful San Diego, California. 8.2 ABV by volume. And then you also have John W.M. Macy's Original Cheddar Sticks. You can find them at Total Wine. 90 calories per every two sticks. Put them together, boom, fireworks. Ugh. 
Oh. Uh, it's very bitter. Uh, I'm personally not like really a fan of like IPA, so I would probably have to give it two and a half. This baby right here is an original cheddar cheesesteak. I do feel like the IPA complements this really well. I'm gonna have to give this three and a half. All right, well, thank you, Koya, for your review. That was a, that was a very thanks, review. Yeah, yeah a little for him, saw how he like sipped and the beer, like, yeah. like took the bite, and then sipped them again. In his mouth. I liked it. Swished it around. Yeah. yeah. So um, a little disclaimer with this beer: we've had this before because this is something we normally get at the fair. The OC fair. Damn. Yeah. And um, we've said it, I think, in a previous episode because it's like. All beer is priced the same, and this is usually one of the strongest. So yeah. why not More go for bang for your buck? Exactly. <laughs> so let's. Go. All right. So cheers. Oh, yep. Yeah, that's that's definitely an IPA. Tastes just like summer. Tastes like heaven. That was a big boy gulp. Oh. That was a big boy gulp. I remember finishing that soon. Um. Yeah, how are you gonna compliment it with your snack? I, I still have a little bit. You it's have to complimented. Start little sips with your snack now. Um, baby back. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're not gonna let the cow jump in on this episode? You're just gonna do it for him? Well, I mean, I want to give him. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> um. All right. So. Copyright writer. <laughs> <laughs> what's um? What what's your uh, your take on? The space to sound is something we know. It's a craft beer. Shout out to John for recommending it, saying it's one of his favorites. Thank um, you, JG. Love you, bro. Um, Elysian Space Dust, one of my favorites. Uh, if you don't know yet, I'm like Justin, a big IPA fan. The hoppiness is not a big factor to me. I love the bold taste. I'm going a big five out of five. Wow. wow. There it is. The there it is. Five. Wow. Burp, 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 burp. Eight episodes. Burp. Five out of wow. five already. Five. five out of five. I Love. think you're being a little biased, though. But no. what about it makes it a five? Exactly. Then? You guys know that some IPAs are just like, whoa. But then oh, I'm yeah. still like, whoa, that's good. Noggin. But this one, it's not too Dude. whoa, mm -hmm. but it's also very refreshing. I'll sip on this. I will go to the fair, chug it down, you know. I love it. It's crisp, tastes good. Okay. Um, well, for me, I taste the hoppiness to it. It's expected. It's an IPA, but it's also a little sour. Um, like it, I, it, it has like a, it has a little of a sourness to it, um, kind of like and a little tartness. Um, it is it is good. I wouldn't go five. I would say if you're at the fair. If you're at a game, all beer is going to be priced the same. Probably go for the space this, just given it's like 8.8 .8 ABV. Um, I'll probably give it a four. Solid. That's a solid four. That's fair. And same thing with, well, like, I have like a mix of both you and Kev, where it's like, this is actually the first time I'm actually sitting down to taste this beer. It's different when we go to the fair. It's like it's hot. We're just drinking, yeah. and walking, talking, playing games. Um, but I see what you're talking about. Like now that I'm sitting down and tasting it, I feel like the sourness, like yeah. back here at the glands, back here. Um, it is one of my favorite beers too, and I'm going to give it a 4.5. Mm -hmm. Wow, all right. Some hype, big, some big ratings. Big <laughs> energy votes for this guy. <laughs> BD. So next, we're going to be trying these original cheddar snacks that we got, or I got from Total Wine. Go ahead and grab one. Um, it was kind of next to it, so I figured it might go well. And we, uh, the fans out there, suggested we try a snack as well and rate it too. So here's a cheers, cheddar cheese, cheers. cheddar cheese stick, cheers. It's original. It's cheddary. It's cheesy. It's not too cheddary though. It's not too cheddary. This ain't no, no Cheeto. 
but it has a little bit of the sweetness behind it too. Mm-hmm. Mm. Don't taste the sweetness in that, but it definitely pairs well. I mean, yeah, it definitely does pair well. I'm trying to figure out what kind of snack this would this would kind of compare to. Um, I need another one. It honest, I mean, it kind of just tastes like deep fried because I mean, I think that's what it is. It's just sourdough with some cheddar on it. It's good. It's okay. It's not like wow. Will mm. I probably buy these again? Mm, depends if they're there. I'll eat them. Um, I'm not sure if I buy them again per se. Maybe a different flavor. Were there other flavors? Yeah. Ooh. Nice. There's like ro roasted Parmesan garlic also. Oh, I think or some, something oh, like that or ro what? rosemary garlic. Um, <laughs> For that wow. steak breath. Um, I'll Damn. probably I'll probably give them honestly like a. Just because it's not too overpowering for when you're drinking, I'll, I'll give it like a three. Agreed, three. I go three, two. Cause All in like, favor? It's like a table food. Uh, I, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I, you know, stable. you walk into a party, it's on the it's on the counter, and like, oh my God, Karen, <laughs> I <ain't> great snacks. <laughs> yeah, have some. Don't mind if I do. God, Cynthia, these things suck. <laughs> three out of five. Pairs well with this, though. They, they, they work well together. It's yeah. like the sharpness of the snack goes well with like the little sour tartiness of the beer. Yeah. So um, with that, since we're talking about food and the kind of food, cause, you know, they, they mentioned the OC Fair. They obviously have a lot of stuff like the deep fried Oreos, which are actually really good, by the way. Deep fried butter, deep fried Kool-Aid. I don't care how you deep fry butter. Anything you could think of, they deep fry it. They yeah. freeze the butter, they scoop it out, put it in batter, deep fry it. I mean, I guess if you can deep fry ice cream, you can deep fry butter. Same shit. Um, it's Americans, man. We can deep fry anything. That's why uh, we're fat. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna put America. up. America. I'm gonna put up a picture of what people get grossed out for what my heritage usually eats, and that is cow tongues. We eat tacos de lengua all the time. All the time. So th th this is this is how it looks like real quick, so you guys have an idea. Think. So a lot of people, when you see cow tongue, they get grossed out. To me, that's normal because I, I grew up with it. Right. You know, you're used to it. Yeah, it's your culture. Yep. It's what you're about. Exactly. Does your culture have anything that people get grossed out by? Oh yeah, there's multiple things. <laughs> there's balut. Never tried it yet, but I'm looking forward to. I have. I it. it's, and it's, 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 they've tried it. I haven't yet. But my favorite dish. It's called dinner guan. And dinner for one. <laughs> dinner for two. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's called dinner guan, and you mainly cook it with pork. I've had it with squid, but. It's this dark black sauce, which tastes delicious, but the dark black sauce is actually pork's blood. Mm. So you're cooking pork and squid within the pork's blood itself. And people, when I tell them that's my favorite, they're like, oh my God, what? Yeah. Yo. It's because people aren't used to it. Right. You know, they're, they're used to like hamburgers and hot dogs. Yeah. And yeah. Whatever else Becky eats. Seriously, Becky. Karen with her Becky. cheese sticks and shit. Not Cynthia. all Becky's, though. Yeah, no, not all Becky's. Yeah. Uh, what, what about, did your culture have anything that people get kind of grossed um, out by? Oh, dude. I, I have one thing that I, I think both of you guys have tried it already, but uh, it's my favorite dish that my mom always <sighs> makes me whenever I ask for it. It's called uh, beef anchovies. Oh! I don't know how to say it in Cambodian, but it's beef anchovy. Basically, she'll chop up like. A bunch of anchovies, put it into a little plate, and then she'll thinly slice like beef and cook it with lemon. Like she'll cook the meat with the lemon. It is probably the I could eat that every single day. But people think it's weird because when I open it up, it stinks. I mean, Americans put anchovies on their pizza, though, so right. I, don't, I don't feel like it's that. They put pineapple on their pizza, so anchovies ain't that weird either. Uh, Pineapple's allowed to be on pizza. Uh, okay, but then I have one more thing. Episode 14, look forward to it. <laughs> but I can attest to this. Justin's anchovy thing, oh my god. He can he can attest for this. I eat the whole damn thing when I go to his house. I asked his mom, Mama Pot, thank you again. <laughs> For whatever, for everything that you do. <laughs> Sponsoring and everything. But make me 18 pounds of that, please. I will eat it within a day. Yeah. You'll it's see her comment down Delicious. There. Yeah. Seriously. No, no, yeah. So, I mean, um, I'll talk about this a little bit more on the podcast, but um, I once killed an armadillo when I was younger. I think it was an armadillo with a slingshot, you know, back in Mexico. You and, hear that, PETA? Yeah. PETA. PETA. And then... um <laughs> The uh, I, I I showed it to my parents to my dad and I was with my uncles and they were they were like where'd you get this I'm like oh I was using my slingshot and it just I just killed it and they're like oh, okay go take a shower and we're gonna get ready to go when I came back they were cooking something I'm like what are you guys cooking and, like, <laughs> <laughs> and they were like oh just try it I'm like 
what like just, oh, just try it belly. yeah and I, I took it I'm like oh it's kind of good it tastes like chicken he's like yeah that's that armadillo you just killed and I was like what dude <laughs> so Shoot. I mean I, I guess every culture really has their own all kinds of things yeah um so with that I mean I, I will, we'll talk about a little bit more on the podcast as to some of the some of the interesting craziness yeah but then good we stuff all come too from like different cultures so we, we all try different foods yeah Including and things clay. that we want to try yeah. Boy will give you his take on his food too, and it's kind of funny just because since we all come from different cultures, I feel like See, what United you might Nations find gross, I yeah. might be like normal, yeah. and then same with you, like right, you know. So you know, it's good to have that diversity. Um, so with that, make sure you follow our Instagram. It's at bottle underscore tap. Uh, where can the people find you? You can find me at Justin Pot three S's no underscores. Yeah, the only one Lame. without an underscore because he's he's just weird. You can, find me, <laughs> you can find me, Alex, at L3X with three underscores. You can find your boy at Kevin underscore Abascal. And you can find our wonderful cameraman for today, Adekoye at Adekoye underscore Hola. Oladapo, because he's cool and has an underscore. Oh. That means we're done drinking when the other person's like, oh my God, I need to tie my shoe. Can you hold this? <laughs> Boom. <laughs> So, I didn't know you were a babysitter in your last job before being a professional YouTuber. Sponsors. Please? <laughs> what? You want a babysitter as our sponsor? I'm so oh confused as to what I said. Oh, <laughs> going geez, on. Louise. So make sure you subscribe. You tell your friends to subscribe. It really does help us out. Drop a comment. Let us know what you want us to talk about. Let us know any beers that you want us to try. Because as you see, right. um, we do see them. And then um, we, we try to put them on the show. And with that, we will see you next week here on Bottle... Tap. Tap. That was awkward. <laughs>